Okay, here we are. Light Force Facia install part two. Um, the panel arrived today. I wasn't expecting it uh, for another few days. They told me it wouldn't be here till next week. It arrived today. Um, a bit late in the day for me to start, but I'm still starting. Uh, went down and got these from Super Cheap. These are about 20 something bucks. Little Tool Pro. Bloody trim and trim removal tools probably should have uh, bought them before I removed the trim because I actually damaged a couple of those as you saw in the other video anyway they're here now okay so what do we get in the kit all right so the basic face here itself now this is the original Ford one at the front you saw that in the other video and here is the light force panel so you can see how I said they've added the three switches in the middle there. Now, comparing them from the rear. Okay, that's obviously the Ford part in the front there. And then this is the light force part. Honestly, the quality and feel of it. The light force panel feels exactly like the factory panel exactly like the factory panel so uh, very high quality very well made it's, uh, it's an Australian company uh, I think all that sort of stuff even to the point where they've still got the little felt bit of thing on top but this one is on the light force it's a little bit misaligned but you know I'm not going to whinge too much about that okay so it comes with as I said just the face here comes with these three switches two of them have switch blanks and then one of them it has this in it. Whoopsie daisy. Put it back up the right way. Light force. Push in, push off switch. The bag that came in had this little wiring kit thing, obviously, to hook it up to a set of lights and also to make the LED illuminate. Now, this is a switch blank that we got. And in my first video, you saw I talked about the little holes, uh, we get a bit of light on the subject get a bit closer now we get a bit of light going, maybe if I faced it towards the shed door, there you go you can see the two small holes which assist you in drilling the two holes for the Red Arc Tow Pro Elite um, so yeah, so you get the panel two switch blanks one switch and the wiring for the switch. Now, it's you know fairly comprehensive. It's got <clears throat> connections to light the LED inside the switch, and then also hook it up to a light bar or whatever you know the switch for the lights and things like that. Um, I haven't got a light bar, obviously. Now that I have all the kit, I'm going to uh, probably wire these lights up and see how they go. So that'll be part of it. I haven't made my mind up on that yet because I'm concerned about stripping factory wire. On my Ranger, everyone on the um, forums done it. As I said, I think I mentioned it in the first video, part one. Uh, tap into the brown wire. A um, couple of things. Bought this extra bit. That's the uh, UHF pass-through connector that I was talking about. RJ45 in the rear. RJ45 in the front. And the front one has a little dust cover on it. I'll just pop it out of the... Uh, I'll just pop it out of the Duva. Out of the box here. Super professional. So that's it. That's those two wires are just to wire up the LED inside to light it up. This is a cyan color, C Y A N color. It's sort of a weird blue, um, which I'm hoping will match the uh, interior lighting. The only thing is, I think these ones, the switch that you get with it, is a white LED inside. So I don't know. We'll wire them up and see how they go. Um, and you can see there, it's got a little, even has a little dust cover on it bit hard to see but that pops in when you put your uh, UHF handset in now as you saw in part one I mentioned the tow pro elite cable this big bugger on the back now here's the light force equivalent you can see it's only a tiny tiny little bit on the back there made really close to the clip so because there isn't a lot of room behind here with this in, with the red, red art controller, it'd sort of stick out heaps far, too far. 
so that's why they've made these slightly different RJ45s. Okay, so that's it. That's all the bits we've got. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna wire these up. My thoughts are to run the LED wiring for these sort of the two positive wires off either of these for the LED lighting only into one and then run a positive wire off to my brown wire in the car hook them up negative and then to the negative earth there's a little screw in underneath the dashboard where the guy um, earthed out the tow pro elite and I'm going to use that so um, I might do that and then see where we're at all right guys so part two light force panel for the Ranger PX Mark II bits and inclusive and a little bit extras obviously all right, so part three will be um, the install, but uh, I'm going to do a little bit of work and then we'll go from there. All right, thanks guys. See ya.